This is Pat's Two Cents, reminding you that God's into love. Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Giving you an update. I drove all the way about, I guess it was about 50 miles away from my house. Late at night, because they closed at 9, and I wanted to wait till after rush hour traffic on the freeway. That is no fun to me. Not in a 20-year-old car. (laughs) So... I drove down, and this particular company had taken a picture of the car, and I was expecting to see pearl ivory on the outside and light tan ivory on the inside. When I got there, it was gray on gray, and I couldn't figure out how they got the photography to make it look so ivory and so warm and pretty. So that was a major disappointment when I got there. Okay, this is my car shopping thing that I'm going on. So I test drove the car. It drove pretty good. But it had something I never heard in mind, and that was a rattle. It was a very lightweight rattle. But I knew that meant something major was coming down the pike. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. All right. So then um, when I accelerated, I felt a shimmy. All that aside, when I sat down to see what they would give me, we crunched the numbers and they wanted to give me 14% interest on five years. And I'm asking them, why am I getting 14% interest when my credit is 709, 748, and 809? And they said, well, you don't really have a lot of credit and uh, a, a lot of credit history. And on top of that, you know, we did things to the car. We need to be reimbursed. And that's what the lenders, they put that that interest out. That's not under our control. And, you know, they went through all this hoopla. So I just took my keys and took all my little paperwork and trotted myself back into my car, very disappointed, drove my little unhappy hips all the way back home. And I had to pray that car back home because it was uphill all the way. Even the freeway was uphill. Oh, thank God the Lord helped me get home with no problems. But I'm telling you, this job, I mean, this car hunting thing is really disheartening for a low-income senior. Very disheartening. Um, I didn't want to tie my house up with it. So, and not only that, but I owe taxes. So anyway, (laughs) we won't go there. So the only thing I can do is get a line of credit, um, have them finance it, or get a credit card. And no matter which way I apply, you know, they do the little soft checks. I am hitting uh I'm hitting brick walls everywhere I turn. So if you guys have information about lenders that don't charge 9, 10, 15, 30% interest for a five thousand dollar loan, let me know. I need help. Once again, now I need information. (sighs) It doesn't pay not to be rich in this country, does it? It sure doesn't pay to be low income. Not when you need credit. I thought they only went by my credit score. They go by uh, your expenses. They, I mean, my house... My house mortgage is only three something a month. I mean, that was a miracle from God. But because of all the other things, the property taxes, the mortgage insurance, you know, all that stuff. I I couldn't believe all the things they hold against you, even when your credit's in a a real good place. This is a learning curve, y'all. I'm asking God, show me what I need to do because I need to get a car. And I, I got to make payments. I don't have cash. And a lot of the dealerships want 
cash on a car that old. Even though they claim the car's like brand new, they don't want to give brand new terms, do they? Mm. Yeah, y'all pray for me not to get discouraged because I know what I heard the Lord tell me. But it seems like human beings, bureaucracy, and the almighty dollar is all in my way. Anyway, thank you. Please give me information down below. Whatever lending institutions you know of that grant mercy to low-income people without gouging them and oppressing them with high interest rates. Thank you. And something that's at least five years of a loan. At least five, maybe six. Yeah, I need help. Bye.